I came all this way as a God's child to visit the God's place of worship here on earth. I'm unable to step in. I can watch videos. I can see movies about. I can see snapshots of the Hubble telescope. I can see books. I can read about different projects. I can read about different subjects that they have created. But yet, I cannot go beyond my physicality because the physical form of me or will I be able to enter the temple, God's space, my, without my physicality? It's a question that we all must ask. It is, is it the physicality that is burden, burdensome in the God spirit? Is it the physicality that causes us to create borders and boundaries. Look at this bird. As I speak, the bird was calling his or her nature and poo just on the green. And that helps rejuvenate the worms, the bacteria, and break it down into be part of the food for the grass. And if you plant a seed, that will become a sapling, a plant, a tree, a flower. A fruit, a seed and food for me, all interconnected. Yet, as a human being, we're disconnected from everything. As I was traveling on the most affluent train network, the most powerful capital in the entire human planet, that we know of yet people are holding on to their cameras their phone they're cringing and uh, they're cringing and they're retreating retreating from their human human consciousness looking at each other as their criminal or looking at each other as their stranger. We call ourselves strangers because of our physicality, the way we look, the way we dress, what we carry, how we conduct ourselves. Here I am exiting the temple, heading myself out of the temple gates the gods God's house of worship is taken the church of Jesus Christ of the latter day saints Wonderful. Here we are. Beautiful space. 